Hi, my name is William Karam, and I directed the film Somebody to Hate. This film was shot on a Blackmagic Pocket Pro 4K. This film outlines a unique take on a high school conflict. I would like to thank the people that made this film possible. With our editor, Jacob Eisenbron, our two actors, Brody Howell and Andrew Haby, our audio and lighting assistant, Eric Brooks, our makeup and production assistant, Casey French, everyone that played extras, and a special thank you to Mrs. Held. Thank you for letting us use your room, and enjoy. Everybody has somebody. Not somebody to love, not somebody to count on, but someone that they hate. Someone that hates them with a mutual feeling of resentment. Jacob Eisenbron has always had Will Carum. Casey French has Eric Brooks. And I, I have always had Andrew Haby. I don't even remember how, or actually I don't even remember when it started. I even remember being friends with him, but now, that feels like it was ages ago. But one thing I do know, he has made my life just miserable for the past four years. And after some recent events, I've hit sort of a breaking point. So I've constructed what you could call a uh, course of action. So I have devised my five-step plan. As the ancient Romans would say, it's my faba calciamentum. But I like to just refer to it lovingly as the bean chew. Step one, all I've got to do is just wait till Andrew goes to the bathroom like he does every single day on Mrs. Hell's five minute note break. Step two, I've got to retrieve my supplies that I've already put in my bag. Step 2.5 is that I've got to retrieve Andrew's horrifically ugly but extremely expensive shoes from his bag. Step three, all I've got to do is dump in said Bush's baked kidney beans and enter my distraction. I have an associate, Eric Brooks, who has conveniently agreed to distract Mrs. Held to avoid any disciplinary repercussions. Mrs. Held, I've really been loving government class this year, and every day these marriage tax breaks keep looking better and better. I don't think I can just do one semester. Could I ask for the rest of your life instead? Step four, I just gotta put him back in the bag, secure him with a zipper, and really, it's the perfect crime. He'll carry them around all day, not even realizing until athletic period, and I will be long gone, making me not even a suspect. Then, I enjoy step five, just relax and enjoy my sweet, sweet revenge. Did you put beans in my shoes? What? Why do you even have your shoes in class? Because there's beans that get on my bag and you have a can of beans on your desk. You're the most brain dead person alive. You cost me so much money because of this crap that you do for absolutely no reason. No reason? You make my life miserable. If you're so angry with me, why didn't you just tell me instead of putting beans in my shoe? This is so stupid. Look, if you're so angry, why don't you meet me at the empty lot at six o'clock? Deal. Beans in my shoes? Picture this, you work all summer to get a pair of shoes that you can't afford, to go to a school you can't afford, and some freak destroys your stuff and doesn't even get into any trouble. Mark my words, that psychotic, obsessed creep is dead. I'm kind of done being angry. Yeah, me too. Every day I get up and pray to John. And he increases the number of clocks by exactly one. 